Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 will commence shortly. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff of Blueprint Education, Hope High School, and Hope High School Online, we would like to thank you for joining us in celebrating our graduates and their great achievement. While this ceremony isn't how any of us wanted to celebrate this day, we know that this accomplishment cannot go unnoticed or uncelebrated. If you haven't already, you can follow along with the ceremony through our virtual program, which can be found online at www.blueprinteducation.org forward slash graduation. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Patty Kuros. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner get waved o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Good evening. My name is Mark French. I'm the CEO of Blueprint Education, who operates Hope High School and Hope High School Online. Thanks for joining the most unique graduation ceremony in our 51-year history. We value being non-traditional, and this has been quite the adventure. I think the class of 2020 will look back on this experience with pride because many of you have overcome the unexpected to reach this first of many milestones. Tonight we celebrate high school graduation class of 2020. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome this evening's guest speaker. Through our partnership with organizations in our community, we meet many outstanding leaders. This evening's guest speaker is Ed Smith. What a great privilege to hear from Ed. He's a professional baseball player who played in the Super Bowl. That's right, Ed Smith played professional baseball and professional football um, in his professional career. He was drafted out of high school to the Chicago White Sox and he played in uh, the Super Bowl in 1998 with the Atlanta Falcons. His amazing journey through two professional sports makes his story very unique but the challenges and the obstacles that he faced and the overcome of those obstacles can apply to all of us today. With that I would like to welcome Mr. Ed Smith. First of all, I'd like to thank the uh, faculty and staff here at Hope High School and Hope High School Online. Incredible honor to be speaking to the class of 2020. And uh, I want to start by congratulating you students for all your achievements uh, with so much going on during this incredibly diff difficult time dealing with the pandemic and social unrest. You know, it's uh, a time where we should really be celebrating you. Uh, but we're experiencing a lot of different things in our society. It's an important time for you in your lives, a uh, time that you should and will remember uh, many, many, many years from now uh, for some of the wrong reasons, unfortunately. But we're here to celebrate you 
um, and uh, honor your achievements. Uh, you may have missed some proms, you may have missed graduation this year, uh, social interaction, uh, all the things you're dealing with, but today, like I said, we want to commend you for your, comp for your accomplishments and just let you know that you are survivors and you will get through, we will get through all of this. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Ed Smith, uh, born and raised in New Jersey, uh, class of 1987, Pemberton Township High School in Pemberton, Pemberton New Jersey, go Hornets. Um, I was a three sport athlete, basketball, baseball, and football. Uh, spent my entire youth growing up. Sports was, you know, that, that was my driving point. Uh, was fortunate enough to sign my letter of intent to play for the University of North Carolina after graduating from high school, before graduating from high school in 1987. I was going to play on a full baseball scholarship, and then I was going to uh, play some football on the side uh, for the university as well. Then the summer came just before I graduated from high school, and I was drafted by the Chicago White Sox in the seventh round of the uh, Major League Baseball draft that year and a little haggling back and forth over money and school and different things like that. I eventually signed with the Chicago White Sox just shortly after my 18th birthday. And a couple weeks after that, two days after graduating high school, I was on my way to begin my professional career as a minor league baseball with the ultimate goal to make it to the big leagues. And just a quick story uh, regarding that, that two days after graduation, you know, uh, getting on a plane, flying down to Florida, at the time, I thought I knew every and anything in the world. I thought I was a grown man getting ready to start his life. And I remember getting to the airport that day, mom and dad, my brother took me to the Philadelphia International Airport. And before I got on that plane, I was never more scared in my life. And you know, this is, I reflect on that because you all are dealing with a lot of different things and you're getting ready to go out into the world right now. And it's okay to have that fear. It's okay to, to be uncertain, especially during these crazy times. But I was able to make it down there to Florida, begin my career, and uh, spent nine years chasing that dream. Now what I'd like to do is take a quick pause from that and give you a quick quote uh, um, from a very successful man. Michael Jordan once said, I failed over and over and over again. That's why I succeed. And if the GOAT, the greatest of all time in my opinion, can have failures in his life, so can we all. And I think what happens a lot of times we get so caught up on perfection and we have to achieve this and we have to achieve that. And one of the things I had a question for you all as you get ready to go out into life, you always, how many times have you heard, if you work hard, sacrifice, give 100%, you will achieve everything in your life. And that is true sometimes, but it can also be a misleading quote. In reality, we, you know, we, we go out and we try to give 100%, we pour ourselves into our goals, but what happens if you do everything you're supposed to, but you're still not successful at that particular thing? It's not failure, it's not from lack of trying, it's circumstances of life. And my, my, the, the one thing I wanna get across to you in this short time I'm speaking to you is make sure that you have backup plans, you have backup goals. For me, as I went through my nine-year nine minor league baseball career, I had to face realities after nine years of playing professional baseball. Maybe the big leagues weren't in my forecast, but what I did was I made a transition. I turned my focus to another thing, gave it the same 100%, and was fortunate enough and blessed enough I made the transition to play professional football. I went over to Europe in 96, came back to the NFL, Played several years in the NFL and was blessed to play uh, in Super Bowl 33 with the Atlanta Falcons. And I bring that story up, like I said, because it's all about change. It's all about you know, not being solely focused and thinking that if we don't achieve one goal, that's failure. If we don't knock that door down, it's failure. It's not about that. It's about being nimble on your feet, making adjustments, and having that course of action. And my challenge to you, like I said, is... Sometimes when it gets hard, when it gets tough, and you are dealing through some incredibly tough times, make sure you have that backup plan. If Michael Jordan, if LeBron James, you throw in the other name, whatever name you like, if they can fail and, and succeed on the backside, so can you. Don't be so hard on yourself sometimes. If you have the fortitude to accept the setbacks, and I don't call them failures, they aren't failures. If you focus, 
put the time and the work in, you will be successful. And that's what you're all building on and starting right now. And you know, with that regard, I'd like to say to the class of 2020 that I wish you nothing but the best of health, especially during these crazy times. I wish you nothing but love in your lives. We're all going to need it right now. We have to be kind to each other, love each other. And I wish you all the success as you begin your journeys. And I, I, I pray that you know, you can, we can all overcome this together. So once again, congratulations to the class of 2020. And we wish you all nothing but the best. This evening, we would like to honor those students whose hard work and achievement have earned them a top place among their graduating class. Alfredo Cabada Ramos, Alyssa Kaur, Annabelle Doty, Calista Doty, Paulita Felix Campas, Brianna Flag, Stephen Garcia, Jacob Jones, Alexandra Juarez Moreno, Kelsey Quito, Dylan Key, Kylie Larkin, Jacob Lopez, Kayla Mata, Jamie Madrid Vences, Adrian Radigu, Israel Rivera, Camilla Rivera Mejia, Seth Roberts. The HOPE Championship Scholarship is for students taking that next step after graduation. Maybe it's college, trade school, or other certifications. The scholarship provides financial support for those students taking that next step. And we had many students apply. The selection is based on academic strength, extracurricular activities, requires letters of recommendation, and students must submit a project as part of the application. Those students selected for the HOPE Championship Scholarship who will receive financial support are Maria Molina Lopez and Diamond Williams. At this time, we would like to congratulate our VIP graduates, Natalie Elson, Seth Roberts, and Diamond Williams. We've seen you demonstrate value by maintaining your attendance, your grades, and being intentional with prioritizing your education. We saw your independence blossom this year when in the face of COVID-19 and school closures, you worked independently to complete your classes and to make sure that you met every requirement necessary in order to graduate today. And we've definitely seen you establish purpose by being committed to a year-long program that asks you to take risks, to be completely vulnerable, and to be open to change. We look forward to seeing the many ways that you will continue to grow and challenge yourself to be a lifelong learner we are so proud of you, and again, congratulations. I am so pleased to award the title of salutatorian for Hope High School's Class of 2020 to Jay Doty. Your hard work, creative artistry, and kind humanity will take you so far in life. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. We now honor the highest achieving student in our graduating class. It is my distinct honor to award the title of valedictorian for Hope High School's class of 2020 to Annabelle Doty. We are so proud of your hard work, persistence, and character. Congratulations. It is my distinct honor to announce Hope High School Online's salutatorian for the class of 2020, Kylie Larkin. We are very proud of her hard work and her dedication throughout her high school career. Congratulations. 
It is my distinct honor to introduce Hope High School Online's valedictorian for the class of 2020, Adrian Radigue. We are so proud of her hard work and dedication. Congratulations. Success takes both roots and wings. We would like to remind our graduates to express their gratitude to their families for providing them with the roots to thrive and thanks to their teachers for the wings to lift them into the future. May you fly far, but always remember where you come from. Mr. French and members of the board, on behalf of the staff of Hope High School Online, I have the honor of introducing to you the candidates who have completed the requirements for high school graduation as set forth by the Board of Directors and the Department of Education of the State of Arizona. Candidates, be recognized. Jamie Andrews. Taylor Brogdon. Eloisa Concepcion Santos Bueller. Hi, I'm Ellie. First off, I would like to thank all of my family for the support. I know it takes a village. But most importantly, I would like to thank my mom and my dad. My dad for the continuous guidance and pushing me to be the best me. My mom for always being by my side and believing me when I didn't even believe in myself. And to my siblings, I did this for all of us, being the oldest and leading the example. And thank you to all at Hope High and Miss Jessica. Thank you guys so much through this entire high school experience. I did it, now on to the next chapter. Kayleen Childers. Alyssa Kaur. Cole Dolan. Natalie Elson. I want to thank my family, friends, the staff at HHSO, and the VIP program for all the support. Something we should try to remember as we move forward is that no matter how many times you may stumble and fall, get back up and keep trying. Be the champion of your own story. And I want to dedicate my graduation to a family friend we lost recently in a motorcycle accident. I love you, Connor, and I miss you. Brianna Flagg. Olivia Geddes. Christian Gressner. Alexis Henderson. Hi, my name is Alexis, and I want to thank all of the teachers and staff over at Hope High School for helping me graduate. I also want to thank all my friends and family, and especially my mom and my dad. I know it wasn't easy getting me to this point. I know that I struggled a lot, and I know that you guys helped me out immensely. Thank you to my mom especially for working so hard to get me here. Um, thank you to everyone who's helped make graduation so exciting and fun. Astrid Herrera. Caitlin Higginbottom. Jacob Jones. Kelsey Keto. Dylan Key. Hi, my name is Dylan Key. Um, I just want to congratulate the class of 2020 and I want to um, say thank you to all the friends and family I have 
and for supporting me throughout my entire life and supporting me through high school and making me, making sure I got my education done. Um, I also want to thank my advisor, Jessica Barros, and my previous teacher, Mr. Jose Villa Gomez. Um, I just want to, I really appreciate all of you guys and for always being there for me. Nicholas Kennard. Paige Lafferty. Alyssa Landrum. Kylie Larkin. Blake Lochner. Matthew Lochner. Kayla Mata. James Merlano. Leslie Mesa. My name is Leslie Mesa and I just want to thank the staff, my family, my boyfriend, and his family for being there for me in this journey. I had a great experience doing online school even though there was times I would forget to do it. My mom would always remind me. So thanks to her. I'm so blessed and happy I finished high school and now I can't wait for what my future brings me. Katina Morio. I'm not gonna lie. It took me a while to get here. But I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that I achieved this. I want to thank everyone who was patient with me and who believed in me. Jalen Ornelas. Hi, my name is Jalen Ornelas and I want to thank my family and friends for this journey that I had with Hope High School. And I want to thank my coach, Jessica, for being such an amazing counselor to me. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here today being able to wear this cap and gown, but you pushed me this far that I'm able to do this today. Without the motivation and advice you had gave me to keep being positive, to keep trying no matter how hard it gets. And the, mes and the best advice I have ever got from Hope High School is to keep trying and keep trying no matter how hard it is. Joseph Ortiz. Alex Penning. Angel Quiero. Dylan Radigan. Kenzie Ramsey. Adrian Radicu. Janelle Richardson. Camila Rivera Mejia. Audra Robbins. Aspen Rose. Jordan Elizabeth Roth. Annalise Smith. 
I cannot fully express how thankful I am for the opportunity I was given to experience online education. I would like to express gratitude towards my mother and father for pushing me towards a new and alternative solution of learning and pushing me to do my best. Today, we celebrate the class of 2020. Now we look back on the lessons we've learned, adventures we'd share, and long days hunched over our computer screens. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Robert Teixeira. Mariah Tasby. Melody Tasby. Larry Thibodeau. Elisa Trujillo. Ajalik Ulibari. Jose Centeno. Hello, I'm Jose Centeno, and I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me through this journey. I want to thank Hope School Online for allowing me to continue my education. I want to thank the teachers and staff there, Mr. Ortega, Ms. Otter, Ms. Greenspan, Ms. Brown, and Ms. Truby, and Ms. Kaylin Savage for always encouraging me and answering my emails on time. And I want to congratulate myself and the class of 2020 that we did it, guys. Mr. French and members of the board, on behalf of the staff of Hope High School, we have the honor of introducing you to those candidates who have completed the requirements for high school graduation as set forth by the Board of Directors and the Department of Education of the State of Arizona. Candidates, be recognized. Hussein al -Gharib. Saeed Ali Albert Apodaca Devonye Briggs We're all good and I only have one thing to say thank you Thank you, thank Hope High School, thank everyone who went there that helped me graduate on time. I honestly thought I wasn't even gonna make it. I was so far behind. But everyone who believed in me, all the teachers who helped me, everyone who gave me a kick in the pants to get me into gear, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I will see y'all later. Hopefully I'm in uniform, bye. Joshua Prince Frank Brown. Alfredo Cabada Ramos. Osael Castillo. Scott Crosswell. Diana Diaz. I want to thank all the teachers from Hope High School for always being there for me and pushing me up every day to be a better person. I also want to thank my parents, friends, and family for giving me good advice. Um, I'm really proud of us because we made it and we're not even going through good times right now. Um, things have been very tough lately, but here we are. We made it, guys. Annabelle Doty. Jay Doty. Paulita Felix Compass.
Darius Fields. Stacy Gallegos. Javier Gomez. Steven Garcia. Betseda Guzman. Jessica Inojos. Caitlin Corrigan. Angelina Horagi. Alexandra Juarez Moreno. Hi, my name is Alexandra Juarez and I want to thank everybody who was involved helping me get this far. My parents were switching me over to Hope High School, which helped me graduate one year earlier, accomplishing my goal. Myself for never giving up and Mr. Aguilera for helping me day or night, answering my emails whenever I needed him. Kenya Lechuga Espinosa. Jacob Lopez. My name is Jacob Lopez and I want to thank my family for helping me get through school and my close friend Steven Garcia for making school bearable. Uh, thanks to the staff and teachers at Hope High School for making this all possible. A special thanks to Mr. Aguilera for guiding me through my classes. This was a fast year, and I I'm happy to be a graduate of Hope High School 2020. Jamie Madrid. Aaron Hein Marcou. Malik Marshall. Janelle Martinez. Lucy Martinez. Jennifer Marie Medina. Maria Molina. Zitlali Moron. Leo Pacheco. Patty Kiros. First and foremost, I would love to thank my friends and family for supporting me along the way. But mostly, I would love to thank my teachers and the rest of the staff at Hope. You took me in with open arms and affected me in an amazing way. I would have never thought within the short amount of time I was at Hope that I would have such an amazing experience as I did. And everything that I was taught, I will for sure cherish it and take it with me in the future for as long as I can. So thank you very much. Luisa Reyes. Israel Rivera. Seth Roberts. Genesis Sanders Sanchez.
Asia Sifo. Jacob Tadai. Leonardo Toledo. Aiden Desi Urias. Diamond Williams. Joseph Xavier Uriar Montes. Mr. Horlick, on behalf of Blueprint Education and its respective schools, please accept these candidates for graduation. Graduates, you did it. You ran the race. It shows in the pride upon your face. Through thick and thin, through highs and lows, through anything that you life throws. You can make it. Carry on. You can be a champion. Grads, it's time to leave the nest. Please move your tassel from right to left. Upon recommendation of the Faculty of Blueprint Education and by the authority of the State of Arizona, I declare each of you a graduate of high school with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities therein. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Class of 2020.